hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee, this is Jay Lee's Corner, and I'm so giddy, y'all. I'm so giddy. Y'all know what this is? This is our review for life. After lockup, okay. Life after lockup or love? I don't know. The TV thing said love after lockup. Then it said life after lockup, but it also said season two, episode fifteen. But it could also be season one, episode one. So I don't know, okay. But it's gonna be titled Love After Lockup because I don't know what it was supposed to be. Now the real season came. It's gonna be coming on in August. Well, not the real season, but a new season will be coming on. Now they had said before. That love at the lockup got two new, they had got ten more episodes. So I'm assuming this is gonna be some ten episode thing, and that will take us into when the new season starts in August. Um, and I guess they're calling it life at the lockup because most of everybody has been has gotten out of jail or went back. You know, and things happen. So we shall see what happens. But if you have not done so already. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and my gamma ho Jaber. Jaber. Dun 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 dun. Okay, and all that good shit. Yes, y'all may hear the fan blowing because it's now summertime weather in Detroit. So it is what it is. But let's get started on the foolishness of it all. Do not forget to like, comment, and share this video. Check the description box below to see my Teespring merchandise. If you want to email me or follow me on IG, all of that information is below in that description box. So make sure to check it out. Anyway, first up, we have Marcelino and Brittany. You know, Brittany is finally off parole and everything. And I'm like, oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? However, I feel like... Britney looks different. Let me get y'all this picture of Britney. Okay, I had other pictures. I did not feel like going through all that. Look at Britney, y'all. Look at Britney. First of all, all the redness of it all, the redness skin tone, the red hair, the rubber. I'm like, okay. Britney feeling herself. Okay, all up and through. And Marcelino, you know, I feel like he picked up a little bit of happy weight. It looks good on him, though. You know, I like it. His face just looks a bit fuller. But I think he still looks good. And so does Brittany. They look good as a couple. But let's get the pair back up together. Um, wait, where did that picture go? It's so many pictures. Okay, so, you know, they a whole couple. They a whole married couple. They live in, in Vegas. They have bought a house. They had a baby, a little baby girl. They got a dog. Her son be there, too, and everything. And, you know, it was real easy breezy with them. You know, Marlis, Marlis, you know, still does not like the fact that Brittany has prison friends, okay? He don't want her associating with her friends. And that's Sasha and Amanda. He like, I don't like it. He feel like, I don't want you to get sucked back in to a life of crime, okay? I don't want you to go back to prison, okay? Why can't you just not do nothing to chill out? And she feel like, you know, my friends don't mean me any harm. Even though I met them in prison, they still good people. Are they? Are they really? We don't know. We don't know them. So we do see the house is nice, the kids nice, the, or whatever. And they're chillaxing. We then see that Sasha and Amanda comes over. I'm like, oh, so you like really still hanging out. I'm like they come over for what? And I'm like... But she was having sex with a mate. Girl, let me stop. Anyway, Marcelino was like, he just, he's not happy about it. And it don't help that the minute that Amanda and Sasha came in, they're like, let's drink some wine. Wine, bitches. And want to get to drinking stuff or whatever. So Marcelino was in the room with baby girl. And he come to the front. And it was so awkward. Like, he ain't say shit. They ain't say shit. And I'm the queen of saying, anyone who walks in the room should say hello. Um, That's just my opinion. Also, I feel like... If you are at someone's house and a spouse walks up, hey, Marcelino, sup, is what you probably say. But, I mean, they weird or whatever it is. So, Marcelino just kind of isn't happy that, that they're there. Not only that, he like, wine, huh? You know, so when Amanda, who, who she used to sleep with, say, oh, let me hold the baby. Or, no, get the baby to Amanda. He was like, you can hold your own baby. Meaning, I'm not giving you my child uh, Brittany, why can't you hold your own child? Why I gotta get a child to your ex-future, you know, vagina? 
ex future vagina. Anyway, and he she like stop, stop doing that. He reluctantly gives you know Amanda the baby, even though you know he don't want to. But she's like, you know, I have two kids. You know, it's okay. He like okay, that's fine. And then when Sasha say, well, I don't have any, he say, and that's why you're not holding her. I'm like, bro, you whole asshole, you. Sometimes he's a whole asshole. So he leaving to go hang out so that they can have some time to themselves. And, you know, Brittany go out and outside and talk to him. Like, you can't be like that. Like, that's just not nice. And, again, he just don't like, he, one, he like, you know, what? Well, I came in, y'all, gonna start drinking wine or whatever. That's not, you can trust me to have some wine and take care of my kid. I mean, that's true. However, I wouldn't. I think the baby's so new. The baby looked to be a few months old, and I don't see anything wrong with him saying, like, maybe don't drink wine right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't see nothing wrong with that. Even though, you know, they say women can have a glass of wine, you know, whatever, it's fine. But I see his kind of, that's his first kid. So, you know, most fathers of daughters are very, very, very overprotective. So I see it, he's already controlling a little bit or whatever. But I see it as him just being cautious, like, don't let it get too far. And I think he, like, again, now that you're off parole, like, who knows what's going to happen? I want to keep everything safe, 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 safe. So he leaves and she there with her friend chilling or whatever. And I kind of see what he means. Sasha, I don't, do I have a picture? I'm going to pull it up. I think I did. I at least have her mug. She had nothing else, honey. Um, Sasha, not the one that she used to have sex with. Um, was this her picture? I could have swore I had her photo because when she was talking, I was like, bitch, what? Bitch, huh? Bitch, who? I at least have her mugshot. So, we settle for the mugshot. So, this is the girl. This is her. Okay, that's her right now. Well, that, no, that was her when she got arrested. That was her when she got arrested. So, she is there. Okay, she's she one of the girls there. And turns out, She's facing more jail time. She was involved in a robbery that went wrong and it ended with a double homicide, which is the reason she was in jail and how she met Britain in the first place. So apparently, you know, she was charged with robbery, two murders, and an attempted murder. She then took a plea deal for the robbery charges where she did four years in county jail and then she was two years out on bail, but she's still facing 10 to 30 years in prison on the other charges. And I'm like, I was just so, so shocked. And so for the most part, you know, Brittany and you know, some of their talkers are like, I don't want to go to jail. Well, I don't want you to go to jail. She don't want to go to jail. And I feel like them saying, oh, you know, she didn't expect this to happen. You know, things just went wrong. Like, no one expects things to go wrong. You can't commit a robbery and then be like, I didn't mean it to happen. If you, a robbery in itself is something going wrong. Robbery is illegal. You're not supposed to rob anyone. And it was some, like some, some kind of apartment robbery or whatever. I'm not sure. But again, you can't say a robbery went wrong because robbery is illegal. Period. And even though you may not have meant for anyone to, to, to for two people to die, you know, in this robbery, you can't be robbing people. You can't break the law and then get pissed off at the, out, the outcome of it. Like, you went to rob people and shit went down. Like, you cannot have an armed robbery and be surprised that people may end up shot. It's just stupid. So, I, truth be told, if she actively participated in a robbery that wasn't supposed to go as far as it went, I don't feel bad for her. Because you participated in a robbery. Even if you know somebody from the robber bank and you just a getaway driver, but you know they're robbing a bank and while they're in the bank someone gets shot, you are an accessory. Because you were a willing participant. So if she was a willing participant, I can't feel bad for her. I can't say, oh my God, I hope she doesn't go to jail because she didn't mean for two people to die. You actively participated in a robbery. What the fuck, bruh? I, you know, and she feels bad. Now, I wanted so bad to apologize to, you know, the family, whatever, but I can't. But, you know, they'll be at my court case and I can, you know, write them a letter. I don't, girl, mm -mm. I don't care if you actively participated in a robbery that ended in my family or friend being murdered in that robbery at all. So that was all with them too. Okay, that was all. That was all. So we need to have Scott. You know, Scott and Lizzie's back. Scott is back. At least he looks better. I mean, he still looks like Scott, 
but he looks like a better version of Scott. And Scott is out here. He out with his best friend. Uh, I don't know what her name is. I'm a uh, Charlene. Charlene. And this is Charlene. That's his best friend, Charlene. So him and Charlene out shopping for him some clothes because he has a blind date. So him and that other girl he was with at the end of last season, they broke up. He said, because he in the back of my mind, I kept thinking about Lizzie. For what? She took all your money. What do you what? Think about it for what? Because you want some money, bro? I'm like, Scott is a fucking idiot. So he said because he, in the back of his head, he still wanted Lizzie, he and the other girl he was dating decided to break up. I mean, I would have too. Because you can't be dating me and want your ex-girlfriend like Ray on right there. You too old for that, Scott. That's some, some young man stuff. Anyway, you know, he is shopping for a new outfit. A new outfit for this blind date. He like these clothes are too expensive, and I want to spend this money. And show me like, look, you spend all that money on Lizzie and none on yourself. And it looked like he did not spend money on himself. He put up in an old clunker car. I mean, it worked in the drive. It gets him to point A and point B. And when he said, "You want some water?" and he said, "No," and he tossed a bottle in the back of the in the back of the car. I say, first of all, bro, who water was that? Was it yours? I know you don't think she wants some of your backwash water. I don't want your water. It wasn't even a full bottle. Who, what kind of shit is you, Scott be on some bullshit. Anyway, Scott now has a new job. Still truck driving, but a new job. He said it pays well. And he needs the money. You wonder why? Because he is $50,000 in debt. For a person to be fifty grand in debt and didn't get shit from it. Like, you didn't get no new house. You didn't get no new car. You didn't get no new, no new nothing. All you got was a vagina that you never even had to have sex with. Would never got the chance to have sex with. You went in debt for no reason. Like you wasn't in college. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. A whole nothing ass reason to be in debt. You're just stupid. So, Charlene, like, look, on your date, you know, have fun, enjoy. Do not tell them, do not tell them all your business up front, okay? You need to sit and listen, be a listening ear. He said, yeah, because last time on my, on my last little day, all I heard was her heels walking away. Because you probably told them your ex-girlfriend was a convict who you still love. Stupidity. Personified. Okay, so Scott, it's, you know, somehow, you know, I still think about Lizzie, still look about Lizzie, and Lizzie, Okay, that's Lizzie. Liz Lizzie is living in Wisconsin as a forklift driver. I think a lot of ex cons get jobs and 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 plants and drive forklifts. The bad guy, his job after he you know came home and stuff, he was a forklift driver. I think he still one. I don't know because I ain't talked to him in a long, long time. Anyway, her and her daughter Jasper are still hanging out there close as ever. As you say, we're inseparable, but I don't see her often. Then y'all not inseparable at all. You know, I think she what she meant was we close. Meaning they talk on the phone a lot because her daughter lives four hours away. So they are together hanging out because the show is back. And um they're getting matched well, they're getting tattoos. They wanna get tattoos that say Mama Bear and like Baby Bear or Baby Cup. I don't know, some weird ass shit. Um on like their shoulder blades or whatever. And so they just chit chatting at the tattoo place. You know, Jazz, I'm like, I knew Scott was wrong. I knew they wouldn't make it. I'm so happy they aren't together. I can't believe. She's like, oh, my girl, enough with the I told you so. Enough with the bullshit of it all. You know, Lizzie, on the other, on the other hand, says, there's a small part of me that misses Scott. I say, what part? The empty pocket part? That's the only part of, your, of, of you that can miss Scott. The empty pockets part, okay? Maybe your bank account, okay? Maybe your, your hair weave balance because your hair, hair, bruh, I should have got a picture of how her hair looked. It was a very horrible weave. I mean, it was a, a, a wig that you, it was a party city wig. And I'm, I, why did I not get a wig? Uh, girl, the unit, I promise to have better pictures next time. But not much happened on this one, so I'm trying to, just, it's like a, a catch-up thing for the first episode. Anyway, she brings up how I feel like me and him can possibly still be together. She tired of driving on forklifts. She wants someone to drive her forklift. She, I think she realized, okay, I've had a little bit, a little bit of independence. I'm making my own money, doing this and doing that. I don't see a reason for her wanting Sky back. But I, there's a reason. I, no, I take that back. There's a reason. To be on this show. To be on the show 
because if she wasn't trying to get back with him, they wouldn't be on the show. Everyone that's on the show is dealing with each other in some way, shape, or form. And so, she not done. I need a check. This is a reality show. People like me. I've already kissed Scott. I, I, I fucked other guys for free. I can have sex with him for money. I, it is what it is. Not calling her a prostitute, but I feel like, per se, a part of me thinks we can be together. You told that man if he didn't have no money... You had no need for him. You did not need him if he did not have money. And Scott is already in debt. Girl. Anyway. It was some bullshit if you ask me. So, let's get rid of that. Um, Lizzie's gone. Because that's all that it was that happened. Except it was nothing else. I didn't get a picture of that tattoo either because I, I, I didn't really care. Um, I missed, I missed this on my notes. Andrea and Lamar, Lord, Andrea and Lamar. So, Andrea and Lamar, she was, they were on season one um, of it. He was in prison for like 16 years, and she met him when he went around year eight or something like that. And that girl, it was foolishness all up and through. So, Lamar is back in jail. Okay, because he had got out. Girl, stop moving the wrong thing. He had got out. They got married. She moved to California. She moved her and her three kids from Utah to California because he was on parole and he could not um, travel to Utah to even see her children. So she moved her and her children from Utah to California to be with a man who was in prison for 16 years who didn't have a he had no job. He had a car that she bought him and he lived with his brother. I'm like, girl... Dick can't be that good. Dick can't be that scars to where you need a, 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 a prison dick to move across. It's just stupidity. Anyway, so Lamar got locked back up. She brings, we see her bringing food to the house with the kids there. And she say, this cabinet right here, this Lamar food, he wants some noodles and some prison food. Y'all ain't gonna want that. I'm like, prison food? Who gets out of prison and want prison food? Nobody should want prison food. Nobody at all. I was so confused. He want prison. I'm like, girl. Girl. Anyway, she brings up how the last year has been crazy. Lamar got out of jail 16 months ago. The, she said, but seven months ago, one night Lamar did not come back home. I got a phone call from jail. It was him. He was locked back up because he was with some friend of his. They got pulled over. It was some weird some weird story like he was pulled over there's a gun in the car apparently there was also like a prostitute in the back seat so I don't know what happened per se she gave bits and pieces of the story but however Lamar went back to jail because one he was in the car with a guy who was a felon and two the person in the car had a gun and so both of those are violations of his parole so he went back to do seven more months and now he's on his way home and, you know, she's like, I was mad when he went in there because he went to prison. I'm going to be mad when he comes out. You know what I'm saying? He's going to deal with a whole different person. Like, I'm, I'm not the same quiet, shy Andrea. You weren't quiet and shy before. At all. At all. I don't know what she means. I'm not going to let him convince me to move to California again. That could be what it was. Anyway, her kids is wrong. So her daughter's 14, her son is 17, and the youngest little girl, I don't know how old she is. First of all, Andrea and daughter look just like her, even with the bad hair. Look, I am very upset that Andrea let her daughter be on national television in this dirty-looking mop-ass weave. It's horrible. What, do that girl's hair. Like, that's bad. You couldn't brush it or comb it or nothing. Like, who? Like, y'all know the camera's coming. Y'all know the ca Before I cut on my camera, I comb my hair up, I put my lipstick on, I fix my boobs, and I make sure I look presentable. Mm-hmm. So, you couldn't comb her hair? You couldn't at least spray some water on it, get a brush, and slip down them edges? I say, girl, her, Andrea and her daughter have both have horrible hair. I do not care that she's 14. This is the read of her mama. I can't believe her mama let her be on TV with her hair looking this dingy and girl damaging, okay? That hair is divergent. <laughs> it's special. It's real fucking special, and I don't like it at the all. Anyway, her son, who was 17, is like, you know, what if Lamar come back, and what if he a monster now, and what if he didn't want the prison got worse, he didn't want the prison and became a hardened criminal. I'm like, I feel like if he was in jail for 16 years, he came home, it was cool. I don't think seven months going to make him any more of a thug. 
I don't. I think whatever thugness he was going to get from prison, he already had it in him. And, you know, he can't come back worse than what he went through for 16 years, and he only been gone for seven. But I digress. Anyway, so my hair keep blowing on my face. I'm just damn fan is on. Um, but the son is just kind of worried. Mama, I'm worried about you. You say I'm worried because who knows what's going to go on? Who knows what's going to happen? And I don't like, you know, son, don't worry about it. I'm good. I'm safe. Okay? You got to worry about me. And I'm like, girl, someone needs to worry about you. Okay? And I'm like, if it ain't you, then who? If it ain't me, then we. If it ain't we, then it's going to be us. Worry about you, mama. And the sister, who's 14, the daughter, she says how, you know, Lamar has a lot of making up to do. And, you know, he needs to realize that a lot has, that he needs to change a lot because he now has a whole family, you know, and, a, and my mama to worry about. I said, well, ain't that the girl? She's smart. Okay, she's smart. Anyway, um, that was really with them. Again, it wasn't too much. It's just, it's just what y'all, I'm trying Getting to, I gotta get to, getting to, who I gotta get to, who we got, baby Jack, Jack and Tracy, okay, now y'all see this picture, this picture looks nice, her hair is pretty, she looks well put together, you know, Clint looks nice, a clean shirt, okay, looks like leave it to Beaver, okay, leave it to Beaver, okay, Where's Wally? That's what it looks like to me. However, we not using this picture, y'all. We not, because that ain't what it look like in the episode, okay? We have Tracy, okay? And we have Baby Jack Jack, okay? Now, look, I don't get... I don't... <sighs> Tracy looks like a crackhead. Clint. Looks like he dates crackheads. Um, this is not. <sighs> it's like when you don't know what to say because you like crack as a whole epidemic. And I'm just a girl. She's a whole epidemic herself. So Tracy is almost off road. She got two more days. Okay. Two more days. Girl, you know I can't see shit. Let me put the glass back on. She can't. You know, she'll be off in two more days. And Clint just does not want her to fuck this shit up, okay? So he's like, let me read you the rules. She's like, Clint, you've been reading me the rules for, for oh, the whole time. I got two days. I know my rules. I'm going to be good. I'm going to get off probation or parole. We're going to be fine. Where my accent come from? I don't know where that one came from. Because I don't know. Because she's not country at all. She has a whole crack accent. Anyway, you know, she bring, brings up how, you know, before, you know, I, I messed up before, you know, when I left Clint before, I was I was I was going crazy. I was on a whole binge or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just I just mama I was I wanted drugs. I just wanted drugs. She then says, you know, there are things that women can do to make money to pay for drugs, and I did them all. So you was out here sucking dick for drugs? Who girl, who? Why in 2018 is anybody sucking dick for crack? Like I feel like if there are things that we should leave in the past, the one thing that should be left in the past, nobody. She'd be sucking dick for crack. You just should not do that, okay? Or or having sex for crack. Cause she was her drug, her, her drug was crack, okay? But she brings up how I did them all, but I'm better now. You don't look it. Tracy looks sick. Okay, I don't know if it's the sunken in your face, if it's the bad weed, the prison makeup, cause it looks like she's still out here putting toothpaste and charcoal uh, dust on her eyeshadow lens her eyes i'm just this is bad you know what i'm saying and your eyes suck a dick for crack well not not you you well i he may i don't know what he do i don't know i'm gonna move out of that anyway clint is like look if you go back to jail it's over okay it's over if you go back to jail i waiting and nothing nothing if you go back to jail Clint, I know, like, let, let me, let's let me do things, and I'm going to be okay, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be fine. My hair, I need, girl, I need to just put the damn fan off the top. You know, they then say, I'm going to get off parole in two days. We're going to be fine, and then we're going to Vegas. He's like, yeah. I'm like, who takes a recent crackhead off parole to Vegas? Like, what, in, in what order does it go recently smoke crack? Recently get on the pro Vegas. I don't think that's, I don't know, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do at all. Anyway, Tracy is up there trying to straddle this man. And I'm like, first of all, their bedroom looks like a crack den. You want to know why? 
that's a crack den, okay? It's, it it looked like it's three mattresses, okay? I don't even think that mattress is on that headboard. I, I just don't, okay? I, it's, the mattress is on the floor. So it's like he just put a headboard and puts a couple mattresses up against it. That's just weird. You know, and it's like, why is the nightstand that way? Like, why ain't the nightstand up against something? That part, I just don't get it. And I just, the bed, it, 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 I knew people who do so crack back in the day, and they had crack houses, so I'm aware of what a crack house looked like. And it looks like a crack den, okay? It looks like the place that crackheads go to smoke crack sometimes because they want to pay in-house crack house prices, prices, and that's what it is, and I don't like it, okay? I don't like it. It's just weird, okay? And at this point in time, she's trying to convince him to... Let's her meet his mom. Because guess what she she has not done, y'all, yet? She has not met his mother just yet. Because the mama don't want to meet. And, you know, she's like, I bet you let other girls meet your mama. He said, well, yeah. Because they didn't, they didn't steal no cars. Tracy stole a whole car. Tracy stole a whole car. When Clint said, yes, other women have met my mama because they have not stolen a car from me. I said, that is a girl. Nobody should be able to say, you stole a car from me. Not you stole my car and, like, brought it back. But you, like, stole the car and I'm probably still paying for the goddamn thing. Girl, Clint goes his mama, asked the mama, you know, do you want to be Tracy? Mama said, hell no. Nope, 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 nope. I don't trust her. I think she's on some bullshit. I think she's going to go back to doing drugs. I think she's going to weigh you down. Mama and I have I'm not going to go tit for tat with this conversation. He said, mom, do you want to be her? Mama said, no. Period. But mama, don't people get second chances? She's like, how many chances is she going to get, Clint? How many, Clint? Clint, like I told her, mom, if she get arrested again, it's over. We don't believe you, Clint. We don't believe you, okay? And so mama like, nope, I'm good, love, and joy. Anyway, last but not least, okay, the threesome, okay? The threesome of it all, you know, uno, dos, tres, ABC. ABC, BBD, and all them. We have Sarah, okay, and we have Megan and uh and Michael. Now the funny thing is, they're back. <laughs> it's just like, how are they back? What's going on here? Now Michael, let me change the pictures up because again, Michael ain't on this episode too much. It's just really uh Megan and Sarah. So let's get Megan up here, okay? Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to get on her hair with me. Don't, don't fret, my pet. I'm going to get to that goddamn hair. And then we also have Sarah. Where is Sarah's damn picture? Oh, there she go. And we have Sarah. Okay. Now, yes, these are the pictures I'm going to use for them, too. Because I'm petty. I don't know who don't love Megan. I'm not sure. Because Megan seems nice. I mean, she also seems gullible and dumb. But she seems like a nice person. I don't know how people supposed to wear their hair in her state. I believe she lives in Texas. But Beyonce's from Texas, okay? Houston, Texas. And I don't know if in different cities in Texas, they have fucked up hair. Megan's hair and her edges are never right. Okay, I feel like... I know she said last season that sometime they will come and do interviews the last minute and you won't know and how your hair looking look. Girl, put a goddamn scarf on, okay? Put a headband on them edges. Her edges look like her head hurt. It looked, girl, it looked like she took some Vaseline and just put it around the edges and said, let's hope it starts shining. Shining, 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 yeah. And I'm like, girl, no. 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 Okay? And she has a pretty face, nice brows, you know what I'm saying? Her good skin, okay? But girl... Them edges. Don't. Just, I want I want to just go to Megan and help her fix, fix her edges. I just can't do it. I just cannot do it. Oh, my God. It's just so bad. It's just so bad. Anyway, let me switch them around. I think this would be better on this side. Okay. Yeah, it will be. Y'all know the size of the picture sometimes matter. You're going to make Sarah a little bit smaller because I don't like Sarah. Anyway, <clears throat> so... Megan at the house chilling, okay, with a little friend and whatnot. And, you know, she gets a phone call. Ring-a-ling-a-ling. Ring-a-ling-a-ling. 
And he like, who? What's your phone ringing for? And this is said friend. This is a friend. We're going to bring the friend in, okay? They were doing face masks. Don't worry about that. So the phone ring, and she said, oh, that's Michael. He like, say what now? She answered the phone. Hey, babe. He like, babe. Oh, he's still there? Yeah, he's still there. We, you know, he don't know. Babe, he don't know. We back talking. That's B. I'm like, this bitch. When she said, this B, B don't know we back talking. I said, bitch, do you know y'all back talking? He has a whole wife. Before, see, before, before, when she did not know that Sarah was his wife, I gave her the benefit of the doubt to be stupid because she just did not know. However, she now knows that Michael has a wife and she's still dealing with him. Okay. So, you know, I, girl, friend likes it when you come to visit us. When I get off tether, he's like, oh, what? Oh, I'm on tether, which is mean they have an ankle brace on, they can't leave out. Um, so, he like, I'm going to let you go. And you can hang out or whatever. I'll talk later. All right, love you. All right, love you too, babe. He like, oh, bitch, you love him? <laughs> Say it, friend, was me. I'm friend. Bitch, you love him? Why? Are you going to go visit him? She's like, yeah, like, he go, when he get out, I'm going to go visit. He like, bitch, he has a wife. Yes, a whole wife. I mean, a bitch of a wife, but a wife nonetheless. He has a wife. Girl, he has a wife. And unless you have seen divorce papers signed, sealed, and delivered, he is a taken man. Closed legs to married men. Even if said man sang a dick all around the world. I don't care. Anyway, she brings up how now... I'm aware of everything, and because I'm aware of everything, I can make open. I can make an honest decision, and I don't like Sarah. We wouldn't be friends. Me and Sarah was going back and forth on social media, and at one point, his sister got involved, and you know was was going at me too. I'm like, Lord Jesus, because the whole time, Michael was in jail. So Michael is in jail, and his wife and girlfriend and sister is arguing on Twitter. Mm? The ghetto, the ghetto of it all. Anyway, you know, and now it's just foolishness. So. She like, I just have questions. I'm asking a person because it's he can say anything to me over the phone. He can say whatever you want to say to me over the phone, and I may not know, but I had to ask him in person. He can't lie. You was in person, he lied to your face. Whole time. Had a whole wife. Okay? He's a good liar. Could you and Sarah dumbasses believe what he's saying? Even though he's already lied to y'all. How you let the same nigga convince you twice to keep talking to him while he's in jail? I'm just like, I can't believe the bullshit of it. So, Sarah is in New York, okay? So, Megan is in Texas. Sarah's in New York. He's in prison in Michigan. Here, you know, here, but he's in Flint. I'm like, I don't even think Flint has a prison. He must be in, in, like, in like a county jail. So he can't be in prison, prison. Cause I, don't, I don't think there's no real prison in Flint. Even our prison here in Detroit, it's, not a, it's like a re-entry center. So, I don't know. Anyway, Sarah is... Girl, Sarah's still pregnant. Oh, and Megan keeps saying she got a secret to tell Michael. I hope she's not pregnant. I hope she not pregnant. I hope she not pregnant. I really do. Because if she can't, you know, she can't be pregnant. Because if Sarah nine months pregnant, she would have to be right along with her. So she can't be pregnant. Because we see her, she ain't look pregnant. I just don't know what it is. Maybe her, our girl... I don't know what it can be. I, unless they had kind of visit, she can't be pregnant. Anyway, so Sarah's still pregnant. She out there shopping for her new baby. She having a little daughter. Now, we know in real life she's already had a baby. You know, she said how he was a cheat. He cheated on me before prison. I thought he changed. We got married while he was in prison. And then he was still cheating. Yes, because you, when a man is doing something, what he was doing before going in, you haven't given him a time to show you that he's different outside of prison. You can't marry a cheat man in prison. That's just stupidity, dummy. Anyway, she says, you know, I've been talking to him or whatever. I've been helping him out a whole bunch, and he keep telling me how he keep telling me how he don't care about Sarah. But Megan was saying how he was telling her he don't that he wants to get a divorce from Sarah. So he's t he's telling them both lies. He's telling Megan, I want to divorce Sarah. I want to be with you. I love you, love you, love you, love you. And he's telling Sarah. He don't care about Megan. Sarah says, you know what I'm saying, in a perfect world, me and Michael will be together. Bitch, ain't no world perfect, okay? Even in a fucked up world, y'all should not be together. Michael ain't shit. 
points blank period he ain't shit you know she brings up how i hope megan don't be there for him when he gets out of jail like meaning she bet not meaning she hopes that megan don't go just pick him up you know because again as she say he been telling me that he don't care about her can't talk to her and i have been helping him and i've been there for him since he's been in prison so for the second time for the second time michael has had his wife well no his wife and his girlfriend providing for him and talking to him and listening to him and believing him while he's in prison for the second time he's playing them both like dummies okay dumb 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 diddy anyway when she, and when she said i have been helping him the whole time he been in prison meaning i've been sending this nigga money she been sending him money. That's the only way that she can. That she. That's the only thing she can mean by I've been helping him. She been putting money, money on his books, and I'm pretty sure Megan was too. Girl, I just can't. You know. So Megan decides to go to Flint. She flew to Michigan, got her in a car, and is right around cold as Flint. Okay, in the iciness of the roads and stuff, to go see Michael when he gets out. Michael, mama, and sister is also going. Megan says she has an issue because she's mad that Michael, mama, never told her Michael was married. And she's like, when I see her, I'm going to check her. Bitch, you can't. That's that boy, mama. That She also didn't tell Sarah about you. So she stayed loyal to her son. And again, she don't owe you shit. So you can't go to his mama and check her about shit. Period. That wasn't her place to tell you anything. Period. Okay? Period. Okay? So, she get to the little place for the pickup center or whatever. She pull up and park. The mom and sister on their way. I don't care if Megan there. I ain't gonna tell her. She, I hope she ain't there. I hope she ain't there. And they pull up. And when they park, the mom look over. And Megan's sitting right there. She's like, look at this shit. There go Megan. And the sister's like, I ain't talking to her. I, ain't, I don't want to talk to her. She dumb. You know what I'm saying? She up here. She don't know my brother. You know, you can't know somebody who in prison. You know, you can't get to know nobody by letters. I mean, you actually can that's how people back in the day would do it you ain't have phones that's what happened it was what it was the sister just don't want to talk to megan but megan however puts her gloves on and walks over to talk to the sister knock 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 on the window and at first this is like i ain't talking to her i'm not t i told y'all i don't want to talk to her but i'm saying okay we'll roll the window down and say i don't want to talk just do that and so she rolled it down and megan was like hi you know excuse me so that ain't what like, is your real problem with me? Like, you know, you're online. Like, I don't get why you have an issue with me. Then they got the car. <laughs> Megan backed up because she didn't know what was going to go on. And get your coat. It's cold because, you know, it's cold here. And then they just walk around. Like, I just feel like, you know, you dumb. My brother has a wife. Okay. You know what I'm You don't know him. And I refuse to let Sarah look stupid. I mean, your brother made Sarah look stupid. You can't be mad at Megan because your brother put them in that situation. Um, and the one thing I can't I, that I will agree with is that you can love somebody and not easily be over them just because they did something fucked up. But I feel like even if I still love you, you have a wife. And until you show me that y'all are divorced, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. So this is a walk away as saying I was I'm I picked Sarah Sad because she's his wife and I don't want her to look stupid. But she looked dumb anyway. And then she walked away, and Megan walked away, and now it's the end of the episode. However, this season looks like it's going to be popping, bitch. Everybody beefing. People, I think for a second I've seen Marcelino squaring up against Britney, baby daddy. Okay, I think I've seen that. We see Sarah yelling at Michael about, go with your fat ass girlfriend. I'm like, Sarah, you not skinny. You never was, even before the pregnancy. So, girl, come fuck down. Anyway. It looks like it's going to be an amazing season. And I can't wait, y'all. Y'all know I love this show. I just love it. So, hopefully, next episode, we'll get a little bit more of stuff going on. This one kind of caught us up with what everybody was doing right now. But, girl, I can't. Anyway, y'all, I'm done. Peace. Peace.